Warzone 2 Season 4 has arrived, and with it is a brand new Battle Pass, which includes the operator Nikto, who you probably remember from Warzone 1 and Modern Warfare 2019, five new operator skins, including this cool looking one for Ghost, and Nikto's Tier 100 skin. We also have new weapons in the form of the Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle and the ISO 45 SMG, along with the usual stuff like blueprints, charms, double XP tokens, and COD points. There's 22 sectors altogether, and I'm gonna cover how to get through them with battle pass tokens as fast as possible. We get battle pass tokens across Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, and DMZ based on two things. The amount of XP we earn, and the amount of time we spend actually playing in the game. So put simply, we need to maximize our game time and XP. With game time, we can maximize the amount of time we spend in games and playing rather than in the menus. An example of this is playing DMZ or Plunder. You can get plenty of in-game time, with each match lasting over 30 minutes if you wanted it to, whereas obviously in, say, Resurgence, these are quicker matches, meaning you'll spend more time in the loading screens and in the menus. But the XP differences in these modes can be vastly different depending on how you play. If you're a big DMZ fan and you generally like that mode anyway, I would say just stick to that. Go in, do your missions, challenges, some contracts, and extract, and all these actions will grant you a lot of XP to boost you through the battle pass. But if you're not really into DMZ, that's fine, because the mode doesn't get you through the battle pass significantly quicker than other methods, and actually if you have some good games, the other methods can be much quicker. The main method in question is in Resurgence, whether that's on a chic island or the new map of Vondel. Although you will spend a little more time in the menus generally, so the time part of the battle pass token equation isn't as good, the XP per minute is a lot higher. Because these maps are smaller and respawns are on, we can play a little riskier than on other modes because of the respawns, and because of that there's a lot more action. So we can go for lots of contracts or play a little more aggressive on other teams. Completing a lot of contracts especially will get us a lot of XP, and a lot more than just getting kills. For example, you get 5,000 XP for completing a most wanted, and 2,500 XP for completing a bounty. And that's even if you're not the person to actually kill the bounty and someone else just does it. So these are huge amounts of XP, especially if you can do quite a few in one game. Mix that in with doing some weapon challenges, special event challenges, and finishing high in games, and you'll get massive match XP bonuses of XP too. If you're really desperate, you could even flick on Parachute Auto Deploy, switch Squad Fill on for a Resurgence game, and just go AFK to let your in-game time build up and get tokens that way. Although this does kind of screw over your team. So both main modes have merit when ranking up the Battle Pass, but out of the two modes, the Resurgence approach is technically going to be the fastest way to get Battle Pass tokens, but can come with a little more risk if you do have a lot of bad games, unlike chilling out in DMZ. Now if you want to get ahead on Wall Zone 2 even more, head over to this video to know how to rank up weapons as fast as possible, or even check this video out on the updated best controller settings.